right, so for this video, we have our dirty brushes. They're quite dirty right now, so I'm going to show you how I wash them. And then I have a towel here. What I do is roll up one side of it so it gives some elevation. So when we put the brushes to dry um, with the bristles to the bottom so the water can drain out and completely dry. I am going to wash my brushes in this sink. And I am going to use the Sigma brush shampoo. It's 100% natural liquid brush cleaner. So I typically use this or regular Dawn uh, disinfectant soap. So I'm going to use this today. Also, I'm going to have some rubbing alcohol ready. So this one's 70%. I typically like to use a 90%. And I'll show you what I do with this when my brushes are clean. So stick around if you want to see how I wash my brushes and um, let's get to it. Okay, so I also made this. Um, I just found like a piece of uh, plastic and I put hot glue and I made ridges on it. So the brushes have a, um, a rough surface to get it to clean a little bit better. So what I do is kind of put a little bit of water to begin. We're gonna grab our Sigma Sig Magic Brush Shampoo and I am gonna squirt, let's say one, two, three, four. And I like to grab like three brushes that are similar height so I can get nice tension on it and wash them um, almost together without having a different elevation in size. Um, so I can put plenty of pressure and I just start going in circles um, on top of this little plastic brush cleaner I created. And you'll see all the dirt starts to come off the brushes. So as you can see, they're already starting to look pretty clean. So I'm just gonna continue that for a little bit longer. And then what I'm gonna do is turn on my water. I like to have it not so cold and not so hot, just warm. I'm gonna start to clean the brushes off. Once I feel like the shampoo, the brush shampoo is completely out of the brushes and I am satisfied of how they look, they look pretty clean, then what I'm going to do is just squeeze all the water out of the brushes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. If I see a little soap still coming out, or go ahead and rinse them again. Squeeze the water out completely again. So now that these are done, I'm going to go ahead and set them on my towel that I showed you earlier. And this is how they're going to go. So then I'm going to start setting them on my towel like so. I let them sit here on the towel overnight so they have enough time to dry. And then I'm going to continue doing the rest of my brushes. So, and that's basically it, you guys. And then I'll show you what I do with the alcohol once the brushes are all dry. It is very important, you guys, to clean your brushes because if you use your brushes more than like three times on your face, they'll start um, getting bacteria on the bristles and in between and um, get dirt, oil from your makeup, from your powders and foundations, and you name it. And if you put a dirty brush to your face, that's what causes acne and other skin irritation and problems. So make sure you keep your brushes nice and clean. I'm almost done. I have a few here done and I still have all these to go. So wish me luck. Ugh. So now I'm going to take my alcohol and another rag and I'm going to put some alcohol in it, on it. Just a couple drops just so it's nice and soaked. And so once the brushes are fully washed and clean, I'm going to take the end of it and just run it through the end just to clean that brush. And that kind of takes all the dirt off the uh, handle and kind of disinfects it at the same time. So one, once I do that, then I go ahead and just 
store them in my makeup room and that's it you guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video